Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am having a sneak peek at Pam Paradise from Diamond Art Club. If you are new to diamond painting, maybe you're just thinking about taking up diamond painting and you've been searching the internet, <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure you will have heard of Diamond Art Club. So this is what you can expect if you do order a diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. Um, I talk about this because the way that different companies package diamond paintings varies a lot. So if you do decide to order from Diamond Art Club, this is what you can expect to get. You get the white box with the logo and we have Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. We also have diamondartclub.com, which is the website, um, at Diamond Art Club um, on Instagram and Diamond Art Club on Facebook. So this is the actual box you would receive. It isn't wrapped in plastic, like a lot of companies have a cardboard box and then it's wrapped in plastic and you can't actually see what's inside it. Diamond Art Club um, always send their boxes out like this. And the reason that they do that is the actual diamond painting is in a box inside this box. So um, most companies you will get a box and the diamond painting is in it. Diamond Art Club double box the diamond paintings which helps to protect them and stop them getting damaged in transit. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, the box is sealed um, with tape that has fibres through it. So it makes it a bit stronger than uh, just plain old sellotape or scotch tape. Um, so a lot less chance of the box accidentally popping open. So we'll cut the tape. And then just along the centre. If I can find it. So inside the box we have the actual proper box which looks like this. So this is the typical uh, Diamond Art Club box that you would receive. Um, inside the box we also have some padding. So again extra protection and stops the box rattling about uh, inside. So I'll put this to the side. And we'll have a look at the proper box. So this is the standard box with the standard graphics. Um, sometimes you get custom boxes, um, things like Star Trek. It had a special logo, uh, Star Trek orientated. Um, Batman, for example, had Batman on it. And, uh, Harry Potter has different graphics as well. But this is the standard box. So you can see um, it's got a sort of uh, 3D holographic effect if I get it in the light. And again we have Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle. And this time we have a pink circle which means this kit is round drills. And it also says round diamonds. But from a distance you can tell if this had been square um, it would be a blue square. So this time um, a pink circle. So we know it is round drills that are in the kit. Then we get a large thumbnail, um, which is a high resolution, just trying to get the angle right. So we get a good uh, image of what this is, and it tells us it's called Palm Paradise by Eau Claire Studio. We get the thumbnail, then it says diamond shape round, just to confirm it. Then the size is 20 inches by 27 inches which is 50.7 centimetres by 68.9 centimetres. And at the bottom it says all inclusive, see back for contents. So we turn it over and we get this. It says jaw dropping artwork that you can do at home. No experience required. 
Have some time to yourself and leave the day's worries behind. Create gorgeous artwork that you can frame in your home. Makes a great gift for fre for your friends, family and loved ones. And then we have um, six thumbnails and six steps on how to diamond paint. Again, if you're totally new, um, just gives you a very quick guide on how to diamond paint. And then we have the kit contents. Um, we'll be going through that, so I won't bother reading it. But we have that in three different languages. And at the bottom, we have warning, choking hazard. Um, obviously, keep out of the reach of small children. You don't want them accidentally um, swallowing your drills, thinking they may be candy. So that is the box. It is sealed. Uh, it's sealed with cellophane. So the first thing we have to do is remove that. So the cellophane is to help to stop dust or anything getting inside and uh, getting on the canvas. So it keeps everything nice and clean. So we'll open the top and normally when we open the top of the box we will get the Diamond Art Club toolkit. So reach inside and yes I can feel the toolkit. So we'll have a look at this first. So again, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle, toolkit, reusable and recyclable. And then we have a list of contents, but we're going to look through them anyway. So it's a resealable bag. I'll pop that open. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to actually put the stuff at the side, because when I try to get into it, the tray is the biggest thing, and it always makes it difficult um, to get things out. So I'll just put everything to the side. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the pen. So this time we get a green pen. Um, Diamond Art Club do random colours. So one thing um, when you get the kit is you never know which colour of pen you're going to get. Most companies just do a solid pink. Um, Diamond Art Club do um, sort of... Uh, semi-transparent ones with glitter in them and the colour is purely random so this time I got a green one but the pen is standard and um, the the length the size everything is exactly the same as a pink pen the only difference is the colour the tip is exactly the same we have a nylon tip with a brass insert absolutely standard so that is the pen and with the pen we get a squidgy and the squidgy always matches the colour of the pen so a green pen, green squidgy if it had been an orange pen it would be orange squidgy, yellow pen, yellow squidgy so again if you're new and maybe you've just got a kit and you've got one of these things and you're thinking what, what do I do with this it goes on the pen so it slides up over the pen and what it does is it makes the pen a bit thicker and it gives you that extra cushion so it makes the pen a bit more comfortable um, especially if you have problems with your hands like maybe a touch of arthritis and um, you have problems holding narrow things this helps to make it a bit thicker and the, the sponge just makes it more comfortable to hold so Diamond Art Club always supply a squidgy with the pen and um, not all companies do that. So the next thing is the pink wax. All companies provide pink wax. Uh, Diamond Art Club are a bit different again because they provide theirs in a little case and the pink wax is heart shaped. Most companies it's usually a square or a rectangle, sometimes a circle, but Diamond Art Club always give you two hearts. So this comes with a little case and the case helps um, to protect the pink wax, it keeps it nice and clean, you put the top on so dust and pet hairs and things don't get in. Um, so it keeps it clean and it helps to stop it drying out as well. The next thing we get is multi-placers, we get two multi-placers with the pen. 
and uh, we get two different sizes. Again, if you're totally new, um, the pen, you would place one drill at a time. You press it into the pink wax, you cut a little uh, hole and the pink wax goes in the tip of the pen and this is what picks up your drills. You just touch it to the drills, it sticks. You take it over, you place it where it has to go on the canvas. The glue on the canvas is stickier than the pink wax, so when you pull back, the drill will stay on the canvas. So that is how you, you paint with uh, the pen. You just do one uh, drill at a time. But if you have a large area of the same colour, you might want to speed it up. So what you can do is use these things. Uh, they call them multi-placers. This has a little channel in it. You push it into the wax exactly the same. Cut a little piece of wax that goes in here. And uh, you get the drills lined up in your tray and you can pick up, in this case, four drills at a time. So if you're doing a large area of the same colour, instead of doing one, 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 you can do four, 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 so it speeds it up. If it's a very large area, you might want an even bigger one. So we get this one and it does actually have uh, the number on it. If I can, I don't know if you'll see it, but the small one has a four, um, you can see it in the sort of stamped. And then this one is a seven. So you can place seven drills at a time with this one. And what you do with them is you basically just push them in the end of the pen. So you have single place at one end, multiple place at the other. So you can chop and change if you're doing an area with uh, small areas of certain colour. You can just single place them. And if you move on to a larger area, you can flip the pen around and use your multi -placer. They just pull out. It's just a push fit. So you can swap everything over as you need. So that's uh, the multi -placers. You always get two. Again, not all companies provide them. Um, the next thing we get is a tray. So this is the Diamond Art Club tray. A bit bigger than the standard. Um, typically you will get something like this. So you can see the difference in size. Which means you can pour more drills on here and shake them and spread them out. Um, which means you don't have to keep topping up as much if you're doing a larger diamond painting. The other thing is the Diamond Art Club one has a spout. It makes it easier to pour back into containers or bags rather than this one which doesn't. But the big difference is the sides of the tray. So you can see the Diamond Art Club one, the sides are straight. This one, they are angled. And that means that if you're using the tray like this, um, if you have your drills in the tray and you accidentally touch the side, um, it, it takes nothing really. Uh, you just need to touch it, it will flip. That means the drills flip over, they land on your glue and you have to pick them off again, put them back in your tray and then start again. It's very, very annoying. At the very beginning, Diamond Art Club did have trays that had angled sides, but they realised this, this was an irritation. So they changed the trays and now they have straight edge trays. The fact that they're a bit bigger and they have the straight edges makes them more stable. So if I, and I mean, I'm pressing quite hard on that. It's not flipping over. I mean, it will flip if you really try, but if you're diamond painting and you accidentally touch it, it's not going to flip. Um, doesn't sound like much, but it is uh, a big improvement on the other trays. Most companies will provide trays with angled sides. Sometimes they'll look like this. They'll be a bit smaller, but they look pretty much the same. But the sides won't have straight sides, uh, straight edges, and um, they will flip over. So. Really, really nice tray. I really like the fact that Diamond Art Club looked at that and thought, okay, we can do better than that. And uh, now they do the trays with the straight sides. The other thing that they do, uh, that not many companies do, is they have a stopper. So you can put that in, and when you're shaking your tray, you won't get the drills accidentally going out the end. Or if you pick your tray up and you, you accidentally tilt it slightly, the drills won't fall out. So. Just a little plug that you can take out um, when you need to pour the drills back and put in when you're shaking your tray. Again, it's something that not many companies do. So another plus for Diamond Art Club. 
Um, the next thing is washi tape. You always get washi tape. Um, this again is totally random. You never know what you're going to get. Um, just having a quick look at this one. This is black with uh, flowers on it. That's the design. Um, people use this for different things, but I think the two main reason there are two main ways that people use it is the first one is they put it around the edge of the diamond painting. The glue on diamond paintings goes slightly over the edge of the actual print, so you have this uh, little strip of glue all the way around. And when you're diamond painting, when you're near the edge, um, your hand, the bottom edge of your hand, will touch the glue, and it's it's irritating, um, constantly touching this glue. The other thing is the glue will pick up pet hairs, um, eyelashes, anything like that, fluff, dust, crumbs. Um, so if you don't cover it up, um, by the end um, it can look pretty grubby um, all around the edge of the diamond painting. So to stop that, people will take the washi tape, they'll put a strip down the sides, the top and the bottom. Just up to the edge of the diamond painting, not actually on the printed area. And that helps to cover the glue, so when you're diamond painting, your hand doesn't stick. And your pet hairs don't stick, crumbs don't stick. So when you're finished, you peel the tape back off and it looks nice and clean, just like it did when you first opened the box. So that's one way that people use the washi tape. The other thing that people use it for is to section um, the clear cover that is on top of the glue. If you try to cut the clear cover with scissors, it tends to wander. It's really difficult to keep it straight. So what people do is they make a grid. So they would put strips across the way. They decide what size of areas they would normally work. So they make a grid that size. So you put some strips across and then you put some strips down, make it into rectangles or squares. And then when you want to cut a section to work on it, you can cut up the center of the washi tape and it keeps the cut nice and straight. So you would cut up um, either side. You can flip it up or you can cut the whole thing off and just open it up. Uh, again, people do things different ways. But that's uh, the main two reasons um, that people use washi tape. The third one is they might actually keep it on the diamond painting around the edges and use it as a border. Um, sometimes the tape will match the diamond painting, um, but again, it is purely random. So I would say most of the time it won't, but every once in a while, the tape will actually match the picture. The one that did for me was Batman. I was doing Batman and the washi tape that, that came with it was black and gold, which actually matched um, the picture. So um, sometimes it will match, but if you buy more than one, you will have more than one uh, type of, of washi tape, uh, different colours. So there's a chance you might eventually get something that, that matches one of your diamond paintings. You might want to frame it like that. Um, some people do it. So that's the washi tape. Um, the next thing is a cover minder. Um, this one is a pale blue um, shell and it has little pieces of glitter in it. Again, if you're new and you don't know what cover minders are, they are basically two magnets. Um, that is the bottom line. So you get your cover minder, which can be pretty much anything and a magnet is glued to the back and then we have a magnet that is stuck to it. Take that magnet off, then what you do is if you're doing your diamond painting and you fold back the clear cover to work on it, you can fold it back, put this magnet underneath your canvas, behind where you folded the clear cover, and then get this one, put it on top, they click together and it holds the clear cover back. Because if you don't, the clear cover has a habit of trying to flip back down again. So to stop it, stop you having to keep pushing it up, um, you can use a cover minder and it holds the cover in place while you diamond paint. 
if you're doing a session and you, you've done all you're going to do, you can take your uh, magnet away from the bottom, take your cover minder off and then you can just put your clear cover back and that will protect any open areas of glue if you haven't finished that section. So that is a cover minder. And then the last thing we get is a bag of bags. So Diamond Dart Club normally supply around 25. Um, different companies give different amounts. I think the least I've had from any company was something like three. Um, but Diamond Dart Club usually around 25. So I always count them just out of curiosity. The bag that they come in is actually one of them. So I count that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So a bit less this time. So nineteen baggies. And what you can use these for is to keep spare drills. Once you finish your diamond painting, you will have some spares of every colour. And what you can do is put a little label on the bag with the DMC code, put your spare drills in it and keep them. That way, if you're working on the kit in the future and it happens to, that you run out of one colour, maybe you're four or five drills short. Um, to save having to contact the company, and wait on the drills getting um, posted out to you. If you've got spares, you can use them. So um, put a little label, write the DMC code, and then pour the drills inside and then keep them. Um, they can come in handy if you happen to run out of drills. The other reason for keeping the spares is some people who are more crafty than me We'll come up with ideas for designs on things like flower pots or candle holders and they will come up with a design, put glue on the outside of the pot and uh, do little patterns or make up little flowers or different things. So you can actually use them to customise different things and, and just use the spare drills. Again, you have to be uh, a little bit artistic. Um, so. Um, if you are an artsy person, um, it's really up to you what you des what you cover and uh, the designs that you can make. So that is uh, pretty much it. Uh, that is the Diamond Art Club uh, toolkit. I have to mention that the cover minders are being phased out. They are basically using up the stock they have. Once they're finished, um, that's it there will be no more cover minders. So a lot of people collect these. Um, as I said, you get a lot of different shapes and things. Um, so people collect them, um, but they will be phasing out. So I'm just basically waiting until the day that I open a box and don't get a cover minder. And then uh, that will probably be the end. So uh, that is it. So we've got the baggies, the pen, with uh, the squidgy, two multi-placers, the cover minder, heart-shaped pink wax, uh, two pieces that go in the little case to keep it nice and clean, um, the washi tape and the straight-edged straight uh, diamond painting tray, which is actually uh, more of a big deal than it sounds. Um, once you've knocked the tray over a few times and you've had to pick drills off the glue, uh, you'll suddenly realise uh, how nice it is to have a straight edge tray. The one thing that is missing um, that you will get in a lot of the kits is tweezers. And that is because it is a round kit. If you get a kit with round drills, you don't get tweezers. They only come with square drill kits. So that's it. Uh, the Diamond Art Club uh, tool kit for round drills. So I'll put all of this out of the way. And we can have a look in the box. So 
the first thing that came to hand was this little piece of paper and what this is is a sticker so some people keep a physical log book of the diamond paintings they do so they have a book and um, they write the details of when they started when they finished and anything they want to write about that particular diamond painting these stickers can come in uh, very handy as an index um, it's a, a really whoop, a really uh, high resolution glossy uh, sticker so it gives a very clear image of the actual diamond painting um, most companies don't provide anything like this and um, they usually provide uh, a small thumbnail on a sheet of A4 paper with uh, the key um, or the legend but I'll talk about that in a bit but Diamond Art Club provide the sticker the other thing that you can do with the sticker is if you've started to build up a collection of uh, diamond paintings you can put the sticker on the end of the box here so if you have your boxes sit sitting flat, stacked up, you can see what it is that's in the kit um, without having to pull the box out to see this thumbnail. So it comes in handy for that. So you would just have it on the lid of the box so you can have a look along and you can see what's in each box and pull out the one that you want to work on. So that is the sticker. Now we've got the canvas. So again it's branded so we have diamond art club do what makes you sparkle sealed bag again to keep dust and anything like that off of the canvas um, just checking there's nothing else in the box and there isn't so we'll put that to the side and we will open this so we have a glue strip along here they have changed this because um, in the past when I tried to peel this it would tear a hole in the bag but it looks like they have uh, changed the glue so it's a little bit softer so you can actually just peel it open which is really good because you might take the kit out just to check it and then want to put it back in the bag so you can put it back in the bag you can reseal it um, whereas in the past it would tend to tear a hole uh, which um, wasn't quite as good so it's nice that they've changed that glue Again, Diamond Art Club are always looking at things and thinking, how can we improve this? How can we improve that? Um, and now we get to the canvas. If you have never done a Diamond Art Club uh, diamond painting, but you have uh, done some kits from other companies, the first thing that you will notice is the canvas. Um, it is very, very soft, very, very velvety, really, really nice quality. Um, it has scalped edges, it is stitched as well and that's to stop the uh, canvas from fraying over time. Um, it is very different from any other company's uh, canvas. But before we actually open it up, we will have a look at what's inside the canvas. So we'll put the canvas to the side. And the first thing that we notice is this little thank you booklet so uh, thank you for your purchase a little bit about Diamond Art Club and then when you open it up kit contents we've already went through in three different languages um, here we have tips and tricks so if you're totally new to diamond painting there's a few things mentioned here we also have a thank you 10 code which will give you a 10% discount on your next purchase from Diamond Art Club, so that's nice. If we open it up, um, we have this, and it says, uh, take a look here for step-by-step -step video instructions. So we have a scan code, and that will take you to a video, and you can actually see someone diamond painting. Now, I would always recommend that people watch videos. Um, it makes a lot more sense when you're actually watching people diamond paint rather than just reading step-by-step -step instructions. Um, I would recommend that you go on YouTube and you search for things like diamond painting for beginners, diamond painting tips, that sort of thing. You will find hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you make a little bit of time, a cup of coffee or 
whatever beverage you prefer. Um, you can sit and just watch some videos and you will pick up so much information. It will make it so much better when you get your first diamond painting. You will have a much better idea of exactly how to do it um, and you will pick up tips. Um, that is what I did. Um, I watched videos for a few weeks before I actually decided to buy a diamond painting and I'm really glad I did. It, it made it a lot easier um, rather than just getting the kit and then looking at it and thinking, okay, what, what do I do with this pen and what do I do with this pink stuff and what's this tray for and how do you use it? And what do these numbers mean? That sort of thing. Um, if you watch videos, you will know all of that before you actually get your diamond painting. Um, the next scan code uh, will take you to the VIP Facebook group. Um, this is Diamond Art Club's own Facebook group and only people who have bought diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club can join. And when you're in the group, all of the pictures you see um, will be of Diamond Art Club kits. So you can see what people are working on, what people have completed. Um, you can ask questions, again, if you're new and you have a problem or you, you're just wondering about something. You can go in the group and just ask. Um, I think we have something like, I think it's about 35,000 members, something like that. I forgot to check again, but it's going up all the time. Um, so around 35,000 members, the chances are, whatever your question is, at least one person will know the answer. Um, it's a really good resource um, for seeing things like kits that people are working on, um, the ones that people have finished. Sometimes you may see something that just catches your attention. Um, that happened to me. Uh, it was one I just hadn't noticed before. Um, it's called the Pumpkin Herder. Someone had finished it, posted a picture and said, um, I just finished the Pumpkin Herder. And when I saw it, I thought, I really like that diamond painting. I had never seen it before, so I went onto the website, searched for it, and ordered it. So I've still to do it, but I do have it. Um, and then we have all the socials, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Pinterest. And then we have step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Again, just basic instructions um, that, that would get you started, but I would definitely recommend you look at videos. And then on the back page, the most important page, Diamond Art Club have their own app. And if you download the app and place an order, you will get a 20% discount. That is only for the first purchase through the app. After that, you won't get the 20%, but at least you get it with one kit, um, which is a nice saving 20% off. So that's it. That is the thank you leaflet from Diamond Art Club. Put that to the side. Now we'll have a look at the drills. So the drills come in a sealed pack and um, they always come with a label that has the name of the kit. So the one that we are looking at today is Palm Paradise and that's what it says in the label. So we can be 100% sure that these are the drills for this kit. So these bags open with a glue strip along the side. So I just peel this back, it's always the noisiest part, so I try and just get it done. So you just peel that open and take the drills out. So these are Diamond Art Club drills. Um, they are actually manufactured by Diamond Art Club. As far as I know, Diamond Art Club are the only diamond painting company that make their own drills. Um, all the other companies buy their drills in. The benefit of making your own drills is you are in complete control of the quality and um, it definitely shows. Uh, Diamond Art Club drills are resin. Uh, resin drills are the best. Um, they are more uniform in shape. Uh, they are also very vibrant. The colours are very, very vibrant. and. Diamond paintings always look better when the colours are bold and they really stand out. Um, they also have more facets than any other company, which is the little uh, faces on the drills. Um, Diamond Art Club have 
improved them and improved them and I think maybe improved them again. So now we have a lot more facets than uh, any other company and that means the drills are more shiny. So we'll have a look through and we'll just find a start somewhere. So plenty of colour in this one. So we'll have a look through. Um, the thing about the bags is it is a bit different. Um, they aren't in numerical order. Um, most companies number the bags and then um, you can see uh, like number one, number two, number three, like bag number one, two, three or colour number one, two, three. Diamond Art Club don't number the bags. All they have is the DMC code and they're all mixed up. It's because the bags are uh, by weight. So um, the, the numbers don't run in sequence. So it takes a bit of time to get them sorted out at the beginning, but I just thought I'd mention it. So don't expect to find color one, color two, color three in order uh, the ant. So as I said, these are round. Um, it's been a long time since I actually uh, had a round kit. Most of them have been square. So we'll have a look through. So we've got um, the DMC code, which is a specific number for a specific shade of a colour. So this one is 3817. So if you are working on a, a kit that has DMC codes, it can be from any company. If they use DMC codes, 3817 will be this colour. The reason they do that is, is to make sure uh, that you know exactly which shade of a colour you've got because there are many shades of say red for example or green so rather than just saying light green dark green um, they have a DMC code and that is a specific shade of green like this one is 3053 so we'll just have a, a skim through and just having a look one thing that I'm looking for is static because it is uh, pretty common to get static in the bags. It's just a thing with resin drills. Um, when the drills are in the bag and they move around in the shipping, um, it can build up static. And we've got a little bit, you can see these drills are sticking up. It's because they've got static electricity and they're sticking to the bag. It's a really good idea to get rid of the static before you start using the drills. Um, and uh, I actually do have a video where I showed how, how I uh, get rid of the static in the bags. So if you do have drills with static and you're wondering how to get rid of it, um, I'll put a link in the description and you can see how I did it. And I did it with a kit, it wasn't Diamond Art Club, it was another company but it had nearly 200 colours and I got rid of the static in every bag. So it, it definitely works. So um, if you're interested in that, as I said, I'll put a link and you can have a look. So a little bit of static, but nothing horrendous, I don't think. You can see again, you can see these drills are standing up. So just a quick skim through, because there are a lot of colours in this kit. So we've got some reds, browns, greens, so a mustard colour, more brown, and then we've got an AB. Um, this is what they call an AB, uh, Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, where the sky sort of changes colours. Um, the AB drills have a special coating on them, and so these ones happen to be red. But if I tilt it in the light, and I don't know how well it shows up, but um, when I look at it, I can see uh, gold, blue, pink, yellow, and I think that's about it, green, a touch of green. So depending on how the light hits the ABs, it reflects different colours. So even though these are red, um, if this is on the diamond painting, you walk past, you will get little flashes of purple, yellow, gold, whatever. Um, and it, it really adds to the diamond painting. They are normally used sparingly, just sort of scattered through the picture. 
so you'll get these little twinkles that just stand out from the rest um, really really nice feature so we'll just skim through again now we've got another AB this time it's a blue one and as I tilt this I can see blue, purple, gold uh, green so again reflects all these different colours and then back to sort of normal drills and then another AB this one's white and again you can see purple, green, red, yellow blue and then back to more normal so that is the small bags that we've looked through and then we get to the bigger bags and here we have uh, 310 310 is black so if you ever see 310 DMC code 310 it's always black the black drills for me are really really impressive um, the first time I saw them the new drills from Diamond Art Club um, was on Batman a lot of black in that diamond painting but extremely sparkly and I think it's because the drill is black and the reflection is white so it's a direct contrast in colour um, really really sparkly drills and you notice it I think most on the black so we have uh, two bags of 310 so um, if you get the same colour and there's too much for one bag it'll continue on to the second bag or third bag or fourth bag depending on how much of that colour you have so the 310s won't be scattered through uh, these strings, they will be all together. So it makes it easier to, uh, to sort them out. So then we've got 3371, um, which you can see almost looks like black. So that's why the DMC codes are important, just to make sure that you're, uh, you've got the proper colour. And then we've got some very vibrant orange, some yellow lighter orange some dark green some brown some blue some green brown blue green orange yellow and these ones are a bit different again these have a z code uh, this one is z725 the z codes are what they call fairy dust drills these drills have a coating on them as well, but it's different from the ABs. This is a very, very fine glitter. So very fine glitter on, uh, uh, sorry, on these drills. Um, so it means when the light hits these, you get tiny little reflections all, all together. Um, whereas the ABs, it's, it's like one face will shine that colour. Um, these, will just the whole thing is uh, very... A fine sparkle so different effect so we have uh, ABs and we have fairy dust in this kit so then we've got a sort of uh, maroon brown, light brown light yellow and green and then we'll have a look through this one so more green Purple, brown, blue, orange, brown, purple, brown, purple, brown, mm, sort of light brown, another brown, blue, purple, and have another green, green, yellow, blue, another blue, green, pink white, brown Ooh, that's a difficult one, the colour is up sort of purplish pink, purple greyish, green, blue brown, purple quite a lot of purple in this um, but they're all different shades, that's the thing I mean I know I'm saying brown, purple but it's all these different shades of these colours so that was a very quick skim through so I know that some people would like me to read all of the DMC codes but um, the videos tend to be pretty long as most people have noticed 
And if I did that, it would make it even longer. So, if you want to know what the DMC codes are, I'm trying to find the key. And it is in here. It's stuck. It's right in the centre. <laughs> right in the centre of the canvas. And I can't get to it. Well, that's never happened before. Okay, got it. So, if you... Uh, of course, there's more than one. That's because there are so many colours. Okay, this time. So this is uh, Diamond Art Club's key, or legend. Um, very different from the other companies. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of companies, or most companies, will give you basically a sheet of A4 paper, and you'll have a tiny little thumbnail up in the corner that you can barely make out. Diamond Art Club provide a huge thumbnail. Um, very high resolution, um, no guessing of what the picture is. So we have Palm Paradise by Oclay Studio. We have start date and end date. So you can write in here when you started it, when you finished it. Um, I always keep a note of that um, because I hang a new diamond painting in the canteen at work every month. And the first question I get asked with all of them is how long did that take? So um, it's something that gets asked all the time. So I always make sure I put the uh, start date and end date. So we have massive thumbnail. So now we can really see what the picture is. Um, palm paradise explains itself. So we've got the palm trees. We've got, I will guess it's a sunset. And we have all these colors. Um, in the sky. As I said, vibrant colours really, really stand out in diamond paintings. They look really, really nice. So this one, if we have a look at the key, starts with 1, goes down to 67, goes on to page 2, 68 to 73. So we have 73 colours in this diamond painting. And um, we have three ABs and two fairy dust. So if people are looking for extra sparkle, um, it definitely has it. So Diamond Art Club's uh, keys or legends um, are different from most companies again because these are actually pre-cut labels. So you can peel these off and stick them on your container or your bag um, so you don't need to handwrite uh, labels or try and draw symbols or anything like that. You just peel them off and stick them on your bag or your container and that's it done. So 73 colours in this one. Um, as you saw, um, a lot of different shades. And the thing about that is it makes colours blend into each other. If you've got different shades of, say, blue that we've got here, it makes things um, blend much better. Rather than just having one shade of blue, we have all these different shades. So um, it just makes things look so much better. So that is the key, or two pages of the key. Now we will have a look at the canvas. So I need to... Move the gels. Oh, well, what I meant to say was, I know that um, some people are really interested in DMC codes. So what I'll do is I will hold this sheet, and if you want to know all the DMC codes that are in this kit, um, you can pause the video here, and you will be able to look through. And if you're looking for the ABs, they're at the, the beginning the 100s um, and then uh, if you want to see the uh, fairy dusts they are at the end the Z codes so we've got Z704 and Z725 so I just thought I would mention that because I know that some people do like to know all of the DMC codes um, so rather than calling them out I thought it was easier if I just show them and people can freeze the video and they can sit and look at them so now we will have a look at the actual canvas and 
now I have to start messing about with lights because I get a lot of uh, reflection it's difficult um, with lights because we have the clear cover and as you can see um, we're getting reflections I've already switched one light off so I'll switch that one off makes things a bit better so now we can start to see um, already a lot of colour in this one a lot of black as well um, which I quite like um, I know some people don't like having large areas of black but I like it because as I said the, the black drills really shine um, because you've got that contrast from the jet black and then the reflection is pure white um, just looks really good I think so plenty of colour even in this small section here and uh, we'll start to scroll up so now you know, look at that sky it's like five so we have uh, I'll, I'll say this is the, the sunset so we have the white and then it goes to the yellow to orange to red and then as we further up we start to get some purple and blue coming in and then when we get to the top scroll up a bit even more blue so this is what I mean by um, the different shades we have so many shades of blue in here and then the purple as well with pink that looks really nice I really like this section here this looks like fire really really nice the thing that we don't see is the sparkle of the drills when you look at a canvas it can look really cool like this it does look really cool but once the drills are down um, the colours are so much more vibrant uh, we get the sparkle we'll have the ABs in here as well and the fairy dust so um, it, it will just be so much uh, brighter more bold very very catchy um, if people walk in the room and see it um, they will definitely comment on it um, as you walk past you will get these different sparkles different colours from the ABs as well and then the fine glitter effect um, from the fairy dust so really really nice image um, definitely something to work on in, in the March um, to make you think of the, the summer and the long warm nights which we definitely don't have in Denmark at the moment um, I think we're, we're just lucky if we get over freezing at night just now but um, it does get warm we don't have uh, palm trees though but um, yeah really really nice image um, so we have the key um, down the left hand side and we also have the key down the right hand side as well and as I said this canvas is extremely soft um, it's very very different from anything else um, it's also um, pretty much self flattening once you roll it out and leave it it, it will tend to just start to lay down um, very very high quality you can see how malleable it is um, it won't crease I mean if I, if I really bent it or, or folded it it would but if you're moving it around when you're working on it you don't have to worry um, about it starting to um, crease up or anything like that poured glue so no uh, air bubbles or anything like that in it um, the other thing to mention is the cover is actually perforated so we have 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares um, you can't see it um, because the perforations are so small but if you run your fingers over it um, you can feel the lines but the idea is instead of um, having uh, one big sheet um, you can basically just tear off a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square and work on it and then tear off the next one and work on that and tear off the next one and work on that um, what I normally do with, with the kits is when I, I go to start working on them I take the cover off and I put down release paper which happens to be the same size 10 by 10 so I cover the canvas in release papers and then I peel off the first release paper and then I start um, I normally start in the bottom corner so I would start here and then 
I peel off the next release paper when this section's done and do this one and then this one, this one, this one. So now I don't have to bother taking off the full cover and then placing release papers. I can just tear off the first section, do that, tear off the next section, do that. So it's basically as if the release paper is already there. Um, it is a relatively new thing, but um, I've, I've been reading feedback in the group. Um, some people like it, some people don't like it so much. But the thing is, if you work a certain system, you don't have to pay, uh, tear the perforations. You can still use it as you do with the full sheets. So if it doesn't really appeal to you to rip these sections, you can just work it as normal, the way that you've been doing it, if you want to do it that way. So it's an option. But um, I haven't actually tried one yet with the new cover, but um, I will definitely give some feedback once I start working on it. Um, sometimes things sound as if they'd be really good and then in practice you start to find that maybe they're not. Um, I have no idea, uh, but thinking about it at the moment, um, it seems a, a sensible thing um, to tear off a section. Some people prefer to work larger sections, so what you could do is instead of tearing off one square, you could tear uh, two at one time to get a bigger area, if that's how you want to work. But um, yeah, I'm keen to give it a try, uh, this new perforation thing. Diamond Art Club are the only company that do this. Um, again, they're always pushing, they're always looking at ways to improve things. Um, so they'll try things and then they'll get the feedback and they might modify it. Um, I think they are looking at changing it slightly so we can actually see the lines where the perforations are. So it makes it a bit easier to work. Um, I'm pretty sure they're working on that just now, so something new might be coming up um, pretty soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. The last thing I want to do is have a close-up look, um, so we can get a really good close-up. We can see the symbols, we can see the print, and we get a, a better idea of what it's actually going to look like to work on because when you're working on the diamond painting, you're always really close to it. So we can see just how the whole thing is put together. And uh, that's what we'll do now. Okay, so now we are having a close-up look at the actual canvas. And we can see the print. So what we're looking for is how good is the print quality? Is it nice and easy to read? Um, is there any issue with it? Is there any double print, faded print, missing print? Any faults in the glue? Anything like that. But as you can see, everything is absolutely perfect. Uh, you can see exactly how the picture is built up. I like to do these close-ups because it gives a better idea of what you will actually be looking at as you work on the diamond painting because we are very close when we work on it and you can get a better idea of how the colours blend together and um, you can see exactly how the picture is made up. So we're just coming down um, past the, the middle uh, palm tree, the smallest one, and uh, we're coming into that area of the, the red and gold and yellow and white. Um, that is the section that, that really caught my attention because I know it looks bright just now but once the drills are down that area is going to look spectacular um, and it all comes down to the shading uh, the more shades you have of a colour um, the better it looks so um, this area is I think I'm pretty sure is, is going to be my, my favourite area I just, the way that they've blended these colours, they've got the, the sort of yellows going into the reds, um, I think it's just going to look so good. And then we come uh, down here and it starts to turn more yellow and then we get to where the sun is and it turns to white. And then as we get further down, we see the reflection on the water and we get a lot of uh, different colours in that as well. Um, we also have blue and purples to the sides but for me the main area is this strip down the middle 
um, I think it is just going to look so good. It's just going to look like the sky is on fire. Um, I can't wait to see this one with the, the ABs and the fairy dust in it. It's going to be extremely eye-catching. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure the people at work will love this one. So uh, as I said, um, in Denmark at the moment, um, it is very, very far from, from this. Uh, temperatures just now are just above freezing. So uh, something like this on the wall in the canteen, I think, would uh, help to uh, cheer people up. But um, yeah, again, another really, really nice diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. The thing that I haven't mentioned is that all of Diamond Art Club's kits are licensed. They work with the artists, so um, they haven't just borrowed uh, artwork from places on the internet and scanned it and made a diamond painting. They actually work with the artists. Um, the other thing is the kits are hand rendered. So Diamond Art Club um, take the original and then they actually build the diamond painting up and they've got people that, that work on it. Um, you will not get different sizes either. Um, a lot of companies will scan an image and then they will offer it in five or six different sizes, five or six different prices. And um, people sometimes will go for the smallest one because it's the cheapest, which makes sense and they think that they're going to get exactly the same image, just smaller. It doesn't work like that. Um, if you try and reduce a diamond painting to a very small size, um, the rendering becomes really, really bad. You lose a lot of the detail. Diamond Art Club um, decide on the size, they work on it and decide, okay, this is the minimum size that will look really, really good. So um, they will not um, make it any smaller because they they think it's not up to our standards. So they are very very big on quality. They they want to produce the best diamond paintings in the world, and um, the, part of that is the fact that they actually manufacture their own drills now. They use their own drills on their own kits, but they do not sell the drills to any other company. So no other company is using exactly the same drills as Diamond Art Club. Um, so I, I honestly think it shows um, with the vibrancy of the colours and the sparkle of the drills. Um, uh, Diamond Art Club are definitely at the front, uh, in my opinion. And when I, I put diamond paintings up at work, the Diamond Art Club kits are always the ones that get the most attention. Um, and the people at work apart from one woman, um, don't know anything about diamond painting. But when they see the Diamond Art Club kits, they always comment on them. So if you're looking for licensed artwork and really high quality uh, canvas and drills, I would definitely recommend you have a look at diamondartclub.com. Um, they do a wide range of kits um, catering for all different uh, types even some for guys. Um, but they, they are um, expanding the range, they, they try and come up with new things all the time. Um, so um, it's definitely worth looking, even if you're just sort of thinking about diamond painting, um, just every now and again, have a look, see what's new. Uh, new kits come out every Saturday. Sometimes they come out on a Wednesday and a Saturday. This one will be coming out on Saturday. Um, so you'll find it on uh, the diamondartclub.com. Um, I will put the details of the release time um, in the description, so you can check that out. But uh, that is it. So uh, that was uh, Palm Paradise from Diamond Art Club. So that was Palm Paradise from Diamond Art Club. Another really nice diamond painting. Um, I really, really like the centre of this one. Uh, I really think it's going to look as if the sky is on fire. Uh, just the, the blend of the colours. And it's it's hard to imagine exactly how it's going to look because we're going to have those ABs and fairy dust in it as well. Um, I like the fact that we have these black areas in the bottom corners um, because it sort of uh, frames that centre. Um, I just think the, the richness of the colours is, is just going to look really good 
straight up the centre of this piece and then we've got the sort of purple and pink uh, to the right and then we've got the blue and green to the left but for me the main thing that's, that's going to catch people's attention is that centre section and um, it, it just looks really really nice so that is it uh, 73 colours um, what else can I say it's Diamond Dark Club very very uh, good uh, canvas, very very good drills, um, it's licensed artwork, it's very very colourful, um, I do like brightly coloured diamond paintings and this is definitely something um, that I'll be putting up in the canteen at work and I'm sure it's going to catch a lot of attention. So that is it for today, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons and um, maybe even more sneak peeks, who knows, um, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live. I do random lives um, just when I can fit it in. I don't have set days or times or anything, but you can drop in, see what I'm working on. Have a bit of a chat. If you're new to diamond painting and you have any questions, please feel free to drop in and, uh, and ask. I will do my best to answer it. Um, if you are an experienced diamond painter, please drop in. I'm always interested in meeting diamond painters from all around the world and finding out what you're working on and learning a little bit about where you live in the world. I am originally from Scotland and I moved to Denmark 12 years ago now and I live in Copenhagen, capital city of Denmark. Um, so I'm curious to where people are and how they found out about diamond painting as well. That's a, an interesting one. Uh, for me, I was actually looking to get back into cross stitch and I did a search and I just happened to see something that said diamond painting. I thought, what is that? So I had a look, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and uh, eventually I ordered a diamond painting and uh, the rest as they say is history so that's it for today thanks for watching and in the meantime take care be safe and wash your hands